My name is Jack Chen, and uh, I was born in Los Angeles. I'm a chemistry professor at the University of Toronto, and uh, I enjoy riding electric kick scooters until I fell down <laughs> and, and broke my uh, patella into multiple fragments. I called 911, and the surgeon said um, we need an operation right away. And it was a tricky operation. Thankfully, after four weeks, he looked at my knee, he said, now it's time for physiotherapy. And, you know, being a scientist, I really wanted to know what is the latest and greatest that technology has to offer when it comes to knee therapy. And so I really did a lot of research into what's the latest and what's the greatest. And to my disappointment, I couldn't really see anything new. Like a lot of them were old technology, but you know, nothing that is computerized and nothing that is uh, like futuristic until I came across a robot called X10, X10 therapy. And the first uh, few videos that I saw were testimonials. And they were like really wonderful. And there was two weeks of physiotherapy. And in the meantime, those two weeks, that's how I found out about X10. That's ultimately when I thought I have to go to Michigan um, and try this out. And the thing that really uh, got me interested and made a lot of sense when I did research into it is some things robots are better and uh, that is, one is repetition. No human, in, you know, myself included, I can't bend my angle to whatever degrees that I want. The robot will do it precisely, reproducibly with repetition as many times as you want. And then thirdly, in terms of precision, is the force that you use. I can't reproducibly use exactly the same amount of force to bend my knees or anybody. I can't trust anyone to bend my knees in a predictable way. A robot does that with one pound of force, four pound of force. And what's beautiful about that is that force is completely proportional to pain. And basically what the robot is doing is, is really digitizing my pain. You know, when I came to Michigan, my bending of my knee was at about 70 degrees. And so I needed a robot to play around where I can uh, maximize the bendings. There's no point in me trying to go from 80 to 100. That's gonna be way too much force, way too painful. And so having this machine in Michigan, in my hotel room, I could experiment with all of these different levels of forces and work on my weaknesses to get my bending going. But that's only one part of the story. That's like passive motion. And um, it was really wonderful to not have this amazing robot working for me, but coaches not only inspiring me, but showing me all the details of how to use a robot to strengthen my hamstring, to strengthen my quads, strengthen my calves, and that synergistically helped my range of motion. It also provided me with uh, human interaction, with compassion, with understanding. Robots aren't very good at inspiring you or, or, or telling you what to do. Having a a human coach who really uh, pushes you and inspires you and encourages you, as well as to give you technical details of how to use the robot to maximize your benefits. The beauty of X10 robot is that it's a touch screen. You get to control, it's very user-friendly, it's very intuitive, and you get your result in real time, you get to see how much force is being used that translate to how much discomfort or pain. You can select this X10 machine, allows me to find where that threshold is and where my bending threshold is. You know, unless I'm relaxed, my physiotherapist can't help me. But I tense up because I'm imagining the pain that is not there yet. Uh, I'm anticipating pain because uh, there is uncertainty in the pressure and the pain that is to come when it is applied by a human. But if it is 
under your control and it is digitized and it is coming from a robot, then it is predictable. I'm relaxed. I'm ready for pound number three. I'm ready for pound number four because I set the dial, right? So, so when you're in control, you feel much more at ease. And so I think, I think your mind plays games with you that you actually feel a lot more pain than, it's, than it is there if it is unpredictable. But if it is predictable, then you get what you ask for and, and it's manageable. This is what's so useful about a robot where everything is digitized and you do it and the robot performs, obeys your command in high definition. There is really nothing like it out there and I was delighted, I was surprised that someone actually thought of this and got it out. The first day, you know, I was shown how to use the instrument. Uh, Marty showed me how to use it and then once he left I was in the hotel room all by myself with the robot where I could, could experiment whatever I wanted and so I could actually push the robot to push my uh, and bend my knee as much as it could without pain and, and by doing that repeatedly because it this robot as, as rock solid as it looks it's very gently moving my legs back and forth and and I think it's because of that that I was able to get five or six more degrees than the day before right off the bat and uh, so that was like really encouraging and then after a few days there was continuous progress and up until that point I wasn't able to use any of the uh, machines in the exercise room uh, and all of a sudden I could use it. I think part of it is, is that Extend Therapy staffs made it really easy. To me it was a very comfortable environment being a scientist myself in a research environment and this was really like a genuine research environment where I could talk to scientists who are very much involved in the statistics of it. Thankfully, uh, PJ Ewing answered my question and then the ball started rolling and within a few, a few uh, uh, days, uh, I got to meet the inventor, uh, Paul Ewing, of, of this amazing robot. This robot, unlike in the uh, self-driving cars, Self-driving cars is, is really technology for the future and there's so many problems to solve there, to, to, to go there. In this case, it's already there. It's already better than us. It's already better in terms of, as I mentioned earlier, in terms of repetition, in terms of pain, using digital amount of force and, and being able to precisely control angle. Those are things that Extend Therapy has already developed. And, and, and now it can continue to improve on it, but the core of it is already amazingly useful. And I'm just so grateful that there is such a, such a machine in this world.